Cops is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Jeff and I, uh, we got dispatched to a call once where uh, somebody had been shot on the corner. And when we show up, there's this uh, lady. She probably didn't believe that we were going to help her out just because of her past and, and just because some of the things she did. She'd been arrested for prostitution. But I think both of us walked away feeling like we did something good because even though she had these run-ins, it made her realize she's still a victim to it. She's still a person. She doesn't. No one deserves to have that happen to him. You know, to be treated like that. And I, I, I can honestly say, since that happened, I have never seen her back down here. She did live. She was okay. She, uh, you know, it, I don't know what happened to her in the end, but, but at least, at least that kind of felt like we accomplished something. Call me at It looks like we got a car up here that might speed up a little bit, Jeff. Looks like it. Uh, he, he just turned off. He might be trying to to uh, duck on us, so we're gonna check it out here real quick. Turn this corner right here. He's getting out quick. Get up in there. Get up in there. Go around. Go around. Going to the guy just bailed out of vehicle. He's running northbound. He should run right up on him here. Put your other hand back there, behind your back. Put your hand in that cuff right there. Jeff, tell him I'm 77. He threw dope behind this house. Don't you go back there. Stay up here. Keep everybody in front. over there. You got him? Yeah, hey, Jeff, I saw it. If you'll hold him, I'll get it. Okay. I saw him throw it. I'll get it. It's back here on the ground. I don't know what it was. You all right, Jeff? He ran up to this fence and threw something in this way. It's right here. Here's a gun. Here's a pistol. I mean, here's the uh, here's the holster. There's gonna be a gun here somewhere. Let me look under this car real good. He threw it and I saw two pieces. But he came back up behind me. He could have grabbed it again and took it inside because he doubled back. There it is, right there. See it? Right there in the bushes. Right there. He tossed it over the fence when he came back here. And he kept running. I kept running with him. I heard him turn around. So I came back. When we came back around the front of the house, we, we met head on. I think he saw the car when we came up on 33rd Street because okay. he came right back towards you. I'm going to leave this here. Yep, that was his. Let's go ahead and just dump it out right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Powder it was laying on its side, but it was jammed in there with this thing so it wasn't coming out. Okay. We're good. Got some powder cocaine and powder. I haven't seen powder in a while. He's got a little smorgasbord going there, doesn't he? I got the ET and Rowdy's coming from 501 okay, now. Okay, thank you. So they can process everything. Yeah, I'll just stay back here with it until he uh, he gets here. And then if you want, we can just, there's no hurry. We can just take care of it one little step at a time. Okay. It's a good little mount. Right what now. else did he have on him up there? He had on a small baggie of marijuana in his watch pocket on his front pants. Okay. This was, this was all like this, though. It was all down in here. 
and he had this shoved on it so when it hit so we wouldn't notice it, it stayed it. like that it wouldn't come out and i just flipped it over looking at it and saw all that laying in there he left that in there so we wouldn't see it so he'd come back and get it probably yeah well he was thinking because uh after he dumped all this stuff he kept running north he saw you guys and stopped and let you go by. I could see him, but he wasn't looking at me. And then he came back running south again, and I just paralleled with him. And he came. we met at the front of this house. He turned around, and I turned around. We were both right on top of each other at the front of this house that he originally bailed out of. So, Got a good look. The, uh, the evidence technician is going to come up here. We didn't, we didn't want to touch the gun because uh, as soon as I got him on the ground and got him cuffed, he uh, started saying, I haven't done anything, I don't know what you're talking about, and it was obviously him with that flowered shirt on. There's not, <laughs> no way it could have been anybody else, and he was running when I came around the corner. It's the same guy, but as soon as I got him on the ground and got him cuffed, he goes, I haven't done anything, I didn't throw anything, and I hadn't even really told him what was going on yet. So uh, what we're going to do is instead of touching the gun at all to prove he had that gun in his hand, we're going to print it, and if his prints come back on that gun, there's no doubt. So, oh, okay. Yeah, we'll just put him in your car, and we remembered to bring the computer for once, so we'll just knock it out on, on that. You want to do that, Jeff? What? We'll put him in Joe's car, let him sit there, we'll knock out the docket in our car, right. and uh, that way we don't tie up Danny any longer. Okay. Yeah. Nice bit of powder, a little bit of marijuana, nice bit of crap. Wow. Come on out here, partner. We watch that. Sir. He was doing good. I got it. Spread your feet a little bit. Spread your feet, son. There you go. Yes. Thank you. You got anything else on you we need to know about? Because if it goes in the jail, it's just a bigger charge. I bet y'all don't find it. Huh? Mm -hmm. I'm just asking you while we're searching. You don't have nothing else? I don't think you could possibly have anything. Yeah, I know. You were carrying a truckload. <laughs> you know, a lot of times people don't understand what we go through out here. They don't take the time to understand. You know, a lot of times we make a lot of people mad because we have a job to do. But just imagine if we weren't out here. Think of the things that would happen. And you know, it's a job, and everybody's got a job to do. And unfortunately, mine sometimes is putting people in jail. It's not that we necessarily like to do that, but sometimes it's, it's we have to do it. Kilo 261, Kilo Romeo 457. Okay, are you on Old Metal Work at Taylorfield? Apparently we got a, a call to a stabbing. An individual has been stabbed in the back by his uncle, and we just received more information that uh, the uncle now, who is a suspect, is apparently trying to cut his wrist to kill himself. We're running at 457. We're all 1097. Can you give us 1033? All units 1033, Romeo Romeo 457, if you. I don't care what the hell we're on. My fingers are getting cold. Okay, bud. No, I'm scared to let go. I really am scared to let go. Yeah, just just hold pressure. Hold pressure. Okay, hold. Just hold pressure. That's the best thing. Just hold pressure. Where does he? Where's your? Where's your uncle live? Hey, buddy. Hands are getting numb. Okay. Where? Where's your uncle live at? Okay. You say so. Where? Larry, did you show him where we're going? Yeah. Ma'am, ma'am, listen to me. Listen to me. Here's what you need to do. We need to get him down, lay him down, and we need to get his feet up. Yeah, I can do whatever. Okay? Just tell me what Come you got to do. Up. I'll tell you anything you want to know. Try to hold pressure, okay? The best you can. Lay down flat on my belly. Yep, just lay down. It's, it's coming. Okay. No, other way, other way, other, other way, other way, other way. Turn over. The Come here. My back. I understand that. Come on over here. Oh, Just keep pressure. I understand. Okay. Hey, get your legs up. Oh. Can you come up? Come hold his legs up. I have done this since Just Rex. There you go. There you go. Now, 
What that does is that that keeps your breath, the blood down, okay? Just relax. Everything's going to be fine. That's rude. I got stabbed, and they just get out and get out, get off the it's couch. Right, You're bleeding. I don't know. I don't know. He he, he threw a stick at me, and then I jumped up out of the chair and went at him, and he he did something, and I turned around, and he stuck me in the back, and I looked at him. He had the knife there in his hand, so I ran up here and called the popo. Apparently, at this point, we may have a barricaded suspect also. Seven story seven. I'm coming. Apparently, the, uh, the uncle doesn't want to come out. They got units that are there, and he doesn't want to come out. Why don't you answer that phone and see if that's him, okay? Tell me what you want, and I'll do it. Kind of crawl up on this stretcher. Okay. Easily. Don't my head up there. No, right there. I have the subject on the phone, and he said he is willing to come out, but. Due to health conditions that's been verified by family members, he's not able to lay on his belly like you want him to. But he does want to come out, but he's afraid to come out. Okay, buddy. Are you still there? Okay, he must have hung up. Okay. Right now, we're going to try to get him out of the house. He's not wanting to come out because of his health reasons, because he's afraid he's going to be yanked on the ground. But I think I can talk to him to get him out. Hey, hold on. I got a knife in my pocket. All right, set that down for me. I'm putting it in the house. Okay, just set that down for me. Down. George. Just one second, please. All right. Come, out, come over here and talk to me like a person instead of trying to yank me around. I can't handle that. Look here, buddy. Now, I got come out the back door. Go okay. Okay, look. Here's what I'll do. I'm, gonna be, I'm the one that was talking to you on the phone. Okay. When you come out, I'm going to walk around there. Okay. I'm going to be the one that comes up to you. Okay? okay. Right here. Okay. All right? I, I want you to walk to that door. Okay. The front. Right. I will come out. I, we'll take care of that. Let me get you first. Huh? If he gets stupid, push off and back off. Okay. He'll, he's going to come out to me. He's fixing to come out, and I'll let you know something in a minute. We've just 1023. Here's my wallet. Okay. That's fine. Just come right. on out here. Okay. Hey, turn around. Read the letter. That's fine, buddy. Turn around. Hey, man. See how see how painless that was? Well. Good job. Good job. All right, be careful. Now. Knee right my left knee. I got to go down like this. I understand. That's fine. Do whatever you got to do. Okay. Trying to defend myself. I uh, understand. Hey, look, we'll get it all straightened out, okay? You know, how bad did I hurt him? Or not? Well, he's uh, he's bleeding a little bit, but I think he's going to be okay. Let me ask you this question now. Have you been advised your constitutional rights? I know what they are. Well, I'm going to advise you anyway, okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You also have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you by the courts. You understand your rights? Basic job of police officers has been the same for a long time, ever since I've been on it. It's getting harder to do now, but the job's the same. We, we try to protect lives and property. We try to keep the peace out here. We try to keep everybody happy. It's, it's an almost an impossible job, but it's, a, it's good job security. Okay, we're going to a domestic dispute between a mother and her 16-year-old daughter. Yeah, back behind us there. Didn't give us any other information. I guess we'll find out what it's about when we get here. Which we're here. I got a 16-year-old daughter. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I, I mean, if I could have her put in de uh, detention, I would right now. I got a 16-year-old daughter. Today, she uh, was uh, here with a whole bunch of boys in the house and some girls smoking dope they in your house in my house they trashed my house we found weed on the coffee table that's how i know for a fact they were smoking reefer mm -hmm. she's getting way off track right. and she's a good girl going bad 
Yeah, we'll be happy to talk to you. Do that for us? Yes, sir. Uh, no, sir. Uh, I just found some residue of, of marijuana on a coffee table. We're cleaning the coffee table. My little girl found it. And she How old you? She's uh, 12. Well, she she was cleaning the yeah. coffee table off, and she found the stuff on there. And I went in, I looked at it, and I, I saw the seeds and stuff. And I said, "Yeah, they were smoking dope in here." You looked through her room, the six-year-old. Uh, the twelve, my twelve-year-old. No, I'm saying you searched her. The other daughters. Oh, the, uh, no, sir, I haven't searched that room. Well, you know, you you have the right to do that if you want to. You can right. go through her stuff. Right. Um, what has she said about all this? Well, we're back here talking to her right now. Is she you denying know? it, or is she admitting? No, to she's it? admitting it. Yeah. Well, we'll be happy to go in and see what we can yeah. say to her. All right, I appreciate it. Okay. Come on in. What's your daughter's name? Jatika. Jatika? Yes, sir. Yeah, no, I'll put you that mile with vials on the audible. Yeah, 148. Okay. Yeah, the This is my wife, Pat. And Hello, this Pat. Jatika. Well, Jatika, do you know why we're here? Would you like to tell me what went on this afternoon? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. What kind of activities went on in here? They were smoking. Did you? What was they smoking? Weed. Did you smoke any weed, too? I ain't put it in my mouth, but they gave me a shotgun. You inhale? Yes. Do you know that's illegal? Yes. Do you understand what would happen if the police came up here and y'all were smoking marijuana? Yes. And we caught you? Do you know where you'd be going and all your friends? Yes. Do you know what could happen to your parents' house if there's illegal drugs in it? Have you thought about that? You know, you, your mom and dad are very concerned. That's why they called us. They're very concerned about what happens to you. And they're very concerned about you having your friends over skipping school and using illegal drugs in their house. And you, the biggest thing you did today is violate their trust. They cannot leave this house right now without knowing what you're going to do. Right. How can they go to work and think, my, my girl may be skipping school and in with a bunch of boys? Because you know there's a whole bunch of things running through their heads right now. Teenage pregnancy, drug abuse, and God knows what could have walked off today. Your parents have some nice things in this house, things they work for. They don't want to see them disappear. That's what happens when you bring these other people in your house. Actually, their house. No more drugs and no more skipping school. Do you understand? Yes. If you get caught again, if I get a call around here or the other officer or any of the other officers, this kind of activity is going on, there ain't going to be a second chance. Do you understand? Do you know where you're going to go? Yes. Don't want to hear any complaints about it. Where are you going to go? Jail. You're going to get locked up. No questions asked. Yes. Are we clear? Yes. And the reason why your parents are doing this is because they love you. Because if nothing else, if they know you're in a locked facility, they know you're all right. That's what it is, is love. They're not doing this because they're mean, it's because they love you and they care for you. We've been to a lot of houses where they wouldn't have called because they don't care. Your parents care. They want to see something, want to see you make something out of your life. Because they can see where this is heading. If all you want out of life is to sit around and smoke dope with some boys that probably ain't going to go nowhere, that's easy. But if you want to make something out of life, it's hard. Call us back if there's any more problems. Yes, sir. Appreciate okay. it. Thank you. You have a nice day. Okay. Thanks for coming. Keep on top of this, and if there's anything else we can do, yeah. let us know. We'll I'll help you sure out all call. we can. Yeah, I will, man. I'll call it in a heartbeat. I, you know, I say the biggest thing is now we don't know whether to trust her or not. You know what I mean? We work every day and stuff, and so we don't know. We, don't, we got a couple more days before school is out. All right. So we don't know, you know. Uh, Okay. I don't know what's going to happen. Well, if you want to yeah. put some restrictions on her, it's uh, that's your prerogative. I mean, she, there's got to be some kind of punishment for it. Yeah. And uh, and yeah. you as a parent, you know, you know, you know what you can do and what you can't do. Right. Well, we, you know, we give her a key, you know, so that she can come home. Right. And be in the house, and she calls her mom, you know, when she when she gets gets out of school, and then her mom, you know, she thinks she's here, but then this kind of thing's been going on. So, right. and this isn't the first time. So this okay. is well, you need to monitor it the best you can. Um, 
maybe come back when you're not expected to come back, have a, a friend or a family member come by and check on her, you know, because she's yeah. broken the trust now. She has. Our so, neighbors are watching. That dude, right. She's the one that, that caught them, as a matter of fact. Have your neighbors yeah. pick up the phone, make sure they have your work numbers and, and how to get in touch with you. And if she's out here and got a crowd of uh, kids over here that's not supposed to be here, give you a call. If you have to leave work, you know, you just got to do it. Anything else we can do, let us know. All right. Thanks again, officer. America's Most Wanted, a guy named Ali. Okay, well, we don't have that information up here. Just tell okay. me what, what was the case. I mean, was okay. it? Okay, uh, on America's Most Wanted, at okay. the end of the show, uh, he's... Uh, what is he wanted for? Murder, Indiana, and possible attempted murder here in Jacksonville, I think. Okay. All right, so we're going to get somebody out there, okay? All right. Thank you. We're en route to the homeless shelter up here. Uh, apparently, somebody that lives there, works there, thinks that they recognized a suspect that was featured on America's Most Wanted uh, as a person that might be staying in the homeless shelter. The person is apparently wanted, uh, according to this, for murder. So uh, hopefully we'll have a little luck on our side and he'll still be there when we get there. A couple of units um, just pulled in and uh, they think they have somebody that matches that description inside there so we're going to pull up uh, and take a look at this fellow and see if this might be him. Mama 253, 753, 993, 783. Who's spotting him? Good call. Well, we were watching, everybody was watching the TV. Some of the guys spotted him. I saw it. Watch your face. Watch your face. I didn't see it. What's Murder. It looks just freaking you like him. On the, uh, the board downtown? I don't know. Pat, ask him. See if he'll give you his name. He won't. I already asked him. What is your name? My name? Yes. Kishore Adan. What is it? Kishore Adan. Where are you from? Sure, Dad. Just, just drop your change right there. I'll put it in your pants, all right? You have nothing you ain't supposed to have? No knives, nothing like that? Huh? I'll spread the light. Can you come by West State Street real quick? Um, at the shelf. Spread your leg. Spread your leg. Did you slip it in here somewhere? There's one, but there's an actual driver's license. That one right there that's scratched out. I got a food okay. coupon here. That the name he gave us right off the bat was yeah, Jose. There's another Jose right here, but that's not him. He's so we already got him for resisting and opposing. He was involved in a violent thing here three mornings ago. And the guy popped out of bed, hopped over his bed, and came after me and was going to slug him. And others of us were so trying to hold both of them. They just got into a fight other. earlier. Yeah. Did the police talk to him that day? Hmm? Did the police talk to him that yeah. day? What, what name did he give them? I guess Jose Torres, I, I guess. Mm -hmm. I, I, I've been sleeping right next to him the last three weeks. <laughs> it was on America's Most Wanted, and they, it was a short segment on a murder suspect. Did you see what he did? What did he do when he saw it? Um, he was, he, he just got back here. Okay, so he so didn't actually he, see the segment. He wasn't there at the time that I'm aware of. There were a bunch of us on the second floor, though, and a bunch on the third floor. They couldn't believe what they were looking at. I'm going to call the 1-800 number for America's Most Wanted, see if they can fax us a picture. Or at least fingerprints. They can get APHIS to double-check that. Yeah. Call 
all records and ID, get a fax number? Well, you're gonna... Yes, ma'am. This is Sergeant Cook from the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. And we are at a city rescue mission. And we had some people call in and say that they thought one of the suspects that was one of the suspects that was shown on tonight's uh, show is at the rescue mission. We have this guy detained right now. Is there any way you can fax us some information on? I believe the guy's name was Ali something. He's got a <laughs> Okay, what's the website? AMW.com. Great. We'll go do that now. Thank you, ma'am. Bye bye. Um, what they want us to do, technology at its finest. Go find a uh, computer, get on the internet, look up the America's Most Wanted website, and uh, they, his picture's on there. See if we can. Uh, they're going to fax us the information, but they want us to go look up on the internet. I want to let us do it at ID Records because they've got the like 21 inch monitors. Do they have internet access? Yeah, I'm sure they do. If they don't, we'll find a computer in the station yeah, that they, does. Uh, they do. Do. We, we just can't run them on, run them through APHIS. And, I mean, if he's a five suspect, he would be on APHIS, wouldn't he? If there's fingerprints in the system. See, if, if you're not from this country or you've never been fingerprinted in this country, you commit a murder, they might have identified you, but they may not have your fingerprints on file. True. Sure. So they would have nothing to compare them with. Okay. I say let's find a computer and look it up on the internet. Absolutely. Great. We're heading out. Let's head to ID. Right. Right. Oh. Thank you, Joe. Yes, ma'am. We're gonna go to um we're gonna take this guy down to records and ID right now, get him fingerprinted. In the meantime, I'm gonna try to find a computer, get on the internet on the America's Most Wanted site. Uh, I called the one eight hundred number. They have a clear picture of him on the website. I'm gonna look up on the website and see if we can't compare this guy that we have with the photograph. Sam, when you're 10 8, we're going to be over time sign. What part of the internet you want to go to? Internet, www.amw.com. You want to do it? You're going to let me do it, huh? <laughs> okay. You're going directly in. You know what you want. <laughs> that's him. That's so close. I'm telling you, that's. That is him, Sergeant. I'm telling you, I think it is. <laughs> Without a doubt. Let's see if I can get this bigger. See how thin his face is. is. Jennifer. We have been. Wanted for Quinn. Murder. That is amazing. Get him. <laughs> Pat. Let me see. Let me see what you got. You want to see? Pat, bring Junior over here so he can look at his picture on America's Most Wanted. This is this is called justice, brother. You ready? Justice. Who's that? Is that you? Is that you? Partner, is this you? Yeah, it's me. It's you? So your name is Askar Ali? No. What is your real name? My name is Kishore Rajan. Kishore Ratan? That picture's you? Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Outstanding. At this point, um, the detectives have the suspect in custody, and um, they're on the phone with Orange County Sheriff's Office in Indianapolis, and they're going to have a detective um, come into town, into Jacksonville tomorrow, and interview the suspect in reference to the uh, attempted murder uh, warrant and the robbery, I believe it is, that's out for him. So, uh, got another bad guy off the street, so that worked out really good. Worked out really good. I've been on the department here for about five and a half years now. You really got to be a, a jack of all trades in this job. You're, you know, you're a physician, you're, you're a counselor, you're, you're a friend, you're a coach. It's really got to be flexible. There's a lot to it, but it's a really rewarding job. That's for sure. 63 in addition to 13. I didn't. I wasn't aware I was on the 69. I'm gonna stop this car for speeding. It's going a little faster to a residential area. Are you not going to the? One on Franklin. If he wants to stop for us. 1054, I was unaware of that one on Franklin. I think that's probably the boy that was going there. 1022. I'll just call it in out of the car. HK Alpha 261, 1050, Union in Washington, 1 Bravo Mike. Now, just stay in there and roll down your window for me. Union in Washington, 
Yeah. How you doing? All right. You have your license on you? Yes, sir. Can you take it out there for me? The reason I stopped is because you were speeding a little bit on this street back here. I had Did just, you I just, I just come out from my brother's house, sir. I'll just take your license back. We'll run it, be sure it's straight. We'll probably just cut you loose. There's no guns or drugs in here, is there? So it's all right for me to search then? Okay. All right, well, just hold tight. Hold tight just a minute. I'll be right back with you. What's that? You got it? Okay. Where is it? Just tell me. It's right on, it's right on my side. No, sir. I just left is it on you? No, it's in the box. Okay, here's what we're going to do then. I'm going to slide you out nice and slow to me. Don't do nothing quick. Okay, nice and slow. When I get you out, I want you facing forward. Okay? Keep your hands where I can see them. Keep your hands out this way. All right? Slide this way. Nice and slow. Yes, sir. Face forward. You don't have anything else on you? Spread your feet for me. It's supposed to be a gun in the car there somewhere. Oh, it's in that box over there? Okay. Walk on back here with me. I'm just going to let you have a seat and we're going to get it all straight, okay? You got anything on you I need to know about? It's up there between the seat. It might be good to go, but... I'm going to check it out. He didn't let me know about it at first. So. Why didn't you tell me about that when I first walked up? Or when I first asked you? Okay, have a seat there. Where's that between the seats? Well, he's saying in the box. When I first stopped him... I was talking to him and I asked him if there were any guns or drugs in the car. He said, no, no. I said, do you mind if I search? He said, no, go ahead. And then I started to walk backwards and he goes, wait a minute. He goes, he goes, I, I can't, I don't want to lie. He goes, there is a gun in there. So just the way he was being sneaky about it kind of, okay, first of all, kind of made me nervous. Here's your gun. And second of all, here's your box of crack. Oh, wow. Look at that. Got a cookie. Now the gun's not... It's not charged. Yeah, but that's we definitely got PC to go in the car, and you found the crack while going in it. There's a uh, yeah. there's your yeah, that's good. Hey, he's he's ten fifteen. Let me go ahead. And, he's ten fifteen, Sam. He's ten fifteen. Hey, put your feet up in the seat over there. Put your feet up in the seat. There you go. Put your other foot up in the seat. Okay, I want you to put your hands behind your back like you're praying. Okay, listen to me for just a second, okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court. You have the right to talk to an attorney before we ask you any questions and have an, an attorney present during questioning. And if you decide to answer questions now, you have the right to stop at any time and consult with your attorney. Do you understand your rights? Okay, whose drugs are those in there? Huh? It's just going to hurt you to lie to me. I'll tell you that right now. That's your drugs? Well, That's what I would tell you. What are you doing with all that? You delivering it somewhere or what? Huh? Talk to me. Spin around here and talk to me. You delivering it somewhere or what? Okay, well, you're under arrest for possession of cocaine, all right? You don't want to say nothing else about it? Just that it's yours. Okay. All right. We Mirandized him. He said, cracks his. It don't get any easier than that. Joe, you got a test kit? Uh, yes, I do. Okay. It's got an entire cookie in there. That's what this big chunk is. A bunch of little individual rocks. They're probably going to be for sale later. We stopped him for speeding. We get up to the car, and I was talking to him originally. He was, you know, friendly, did exactly what I told him to do. Didn't seem to even really be nervous. I asked him if there were any drugs or uh, guns in the car. Originally said no, and didn't give me any reason to believe otherwise. And as I started to walk back to my car, he said, well, I don't want to lie to you. There is a gun in the car. So for our safety, we get him out of the car, take him back to the car just to be sure everything's straight with the gun. He, if it would have just been the gun and, it, you know, everything was registered and wasn't stolen, he'd have probably been okay. But we come back, and there's a bunch of cocaine sitting right next to the, to the uh, gun. More crack than you usually find on one person out here and a gun. Makes for a full night.
The warrant we're going to serve today, I think the name of the apartment is just three buildings down from Ruble Street. There's two buildings, and the number that's on this building says 288. It doesn't have that fourth number there, so that's that's a, a locator, So, but it's 288. Uh, I'm going to do the RAM. Ty, if you would, knock and uh, announce for me. Um, I don't know how big it is. I don't have any drawing for the inside of the, the building, but I would imagine it's not that big. I'm expecting maybe two bedrooms, kitchen, living room, whatever. We can take it from there. Um, let's hit any questions. Best way to get to the back when we jump out? Yeah, straight through here. Okay. There is also another opening here that goes to the back on this side, but we're going to come straight up here. You can go ahead back this way. Okay. Anybody else have anything? All right, let's go to work hard. Get uh, that officer behind you. Uh, Kenson, tell him to go to 13. I'm on 13. All right, listen up. When you get here on time, um, just leave your dog in the thing and just follow him in the back. What time is on time? My time. Just going to have a briefing with the Zone 4 Task Force. Uh, it's a search warrant on, a, on drugs and an apartment complex. About a block away, um, the two vehicles in front of me are is an entry team, and uh, my job is to go around back. And if anybody bolts out the back door, is to uh, grab them in the team and uh, bring them back around front. The canine officer is behind me, so he'll be going around. So we should be coming up on it here pretty soon. I don't see anybody standing outside right now. Alright, I'm going to get you the Everybody up. Yeah. 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 I ain't no lighter. Oh, lighter. Oh, yeah. I got the state. I got a cell phone. Okay. I don't remember doing nothing like that. No, of course not, because Pee Wee wasn't here and you served. Okay. So you're going to go for that sale charge, too. All right. What do you want me to do? We've already talked to you, okay? I don't understand what's going on. You're going to wait and secure her? I just want the keys to your car. Can you get my keys on my bed? I'm, I'm not going to do anything for you. Let's go sit down. Okay, well, I'll do whatever you want me to do. Is that what you want to do? You want to work with us? We'll work hey, with you? you? Hey, ma'am. Hey, I'm not talking to you. Middle name. Huh? Are you listening to me? Yeah. Does anybody you want to work with us? We'll work with you? You got my... Obviously not, right? Has he been searched? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, take him out there and uh, check him. We're right now in the process of searching. As we come into the residence, first thing we see is the, uh, the stove is on. Right next to here, when they heard us coming in, somebody was cooking. While in the process, there's fresh powder cocaine with a beaker broken. And right, right next to that, I mean, I can see in plain view of this, there's a razor blade sitting in here. We haven't started looking yet, but then there's cutting material inside the back bag. 
and there's scales on the inside of the bag. They have things such as baking powder, razor blade to cut everything up inside here. We also have a scale inside of here with residue. So you need to turn this off so nothing else happens in here. Caught them right in the act because they, they busted the... Uh, I mean, they, they, they took no care on where they were putting it. They were just trying to get rid of it as quick as possible. You can see it's still hard powder cocaine. And they were in the mix of co cooking it. You see here they've got all the makings of where there are powders where they're trying to cut it down. But we haven't started searching yet. Once we start searching, I'm sure we'll find more. We get here, uh, make entry into the house. I mean, uh, hit it with the ram, make the entry. There's like one, two, three, four people standing inside right. on the couch, stuff like that. Some people running for the kitchen, running for the water, for the bedroom. We take them down, secure the, secure the apartment, find cocaine, and open in the um, in the sink. We were trying to flush it, throw a beaker in there. The stove was still on. It was still lit where he was cooking. It so it was cooking. It was cooking. Yeah, it wasn't just uh, a whole. I, I was wait. I was waiting for the the boy to come down the corridor there. Go <laughs> Yeah, you yeah might, it, it turned out pretty good. It well, was. You, you uh, gotta get the back door messed. Uh, we had a um, little hesitation on the entry, but mm. all in all, it, it, yeah. uh, it, went, it turned went out smooth. good. It turned out, it went, went smooth. Really well. yeah. it went smooth. Then uh, the dog hit on the truck back there, and we got dope. Got some two blunts. So, hey, y'all got some dope. People going to jail. Good night. Connor and I work here in the city of Lakewood on the graveyard shift, and I think we're able to do the job here in Lakewood and Pierce County with uh, fewer officers than what's usually required of uh, larger agencies just because of uh, the latitude we're given to be able to do our job and uh, the confidence that our command structure gives us. Well, when I was real young, my dad caught me lying and uh, pretty much told me, you know, just come out with the truth and uh, you might get punished, but it'll all work out and pretty much the same way with the department. Um, you know, you're human, you're going to make mistakes, but as long as you admit to your, your mistakes, you might get reprimanded, but you're not going to get fired. And I believe that's pretty important in life in general, you know. Nobody's perfect, and we're no exception. We're going to do a traffic stop on this vehicle as soon as we get some updated information regarding the registered owner's driver status, but right now we've got a bunch of infractions to be able to stop him. We're just going to wait a couple more minutes. First of all, he was speeding 15 over. Oh, he's burning some serious oil, too. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and light him up. 392 County Traffic. 392 County Traffic. Eastbound 512 just past the Steel Street exit on Lincoln Queen Frank 237. 392 Suspicious vehicle. Failing to yield the right of way right now. 392 County, there. we're still continuing eastbound real slow. Pursuit. Uh, they're, now they're speeding up, still eastbound. We're in pursuit. Ford Mustang, about an 84, two occupants, both males. Approaching Pack Highway. 
Speed 6. Approaching Pack Ave, 60 miles an hour. Driving in the middle of both lanes. Speeds are 75. Speeds are about 75, traffic light. Approaching, uh, approaching Garfield. Approaching Garfield. Approaching Garfield, 104. Confirm sticks are at 140. Confirm sticks are at 140. There's some stop sticks up about nine blocks. Hopefully he's going to hit those. Speeds are 70. Speeds are 70. Speeds are 70, 105. Just passing 134. Speeds are 90. Speeds are 90, still continue south, now no traffic. No traffic, 105. He just tossed something. Just tossed stuff about 14800 blocks. Charlie's card spot. Charlie's card spot. Like a... About the 14500 block, Charlie's card spot. <laughs> They're trying to hide it, and uh, they decided not to toss that, toss the gun instead. Yep, it's stuck under there like he could have grabbed it real quick and, yep. and used it at any point. Yep. Oh, he'd have kept going if he hadn't spun out and we hadn't pinned him in the way we did. He'd have kept going. You know, what, I, what I noticed, I mean, they got a stereo that's easily pulled out and in. It doesn't have the faceplate on it. Oh, well, the They're driver's got... a bunch of CD players, so. The driver's got five felony warrants. One for, for prowling in the first degree and a couple for residential burglary. Okay. So they were probably out stealing other items, and uh, we just caught them in the middle of it before they could get much done. There was one in there that was all fully cut, ready to go. So there was one in the chamber at yep. the time. Good deal. Thanks for finding that. No problem. I thought he was going to make a U-turn. When I turned the corner, he smoked back around and his car... I thought it was going to hit I us. thought it just stalled right there, and I'm like, oh, I have no choice but to pull up alongside this guy. And I'm looking at him, and he's looking right at me, and it was like, get your seatbelt off well, and no, get out the door. Well, no, that's why I was out the door running and it was around like, the side to I was, try and cover. I was going to see who was first to get out the door. That, I, know, I, that, saw, I saw him spin around, and you guys were like side by side. I thought, well, I can't slow the dog out now. Yeah, that's a bad <laughs> feeling. That's a bad feeling. You guys are looking at each other like, who's going to do what first? Well, we got so what? So that's why I took out. He, he was right next to the driver, so I went for the pastor to make sure he wasn't going to do anything. Done for felony looting, felon in possession handgun. Escape. He's got a whole list Escape. of warrants. So. whole list of warrants. So we got a couple bad boys off the street tonight. Good job. Good job, Paul. I've been working graveyard for about four years now. I like graveyard. I'm a night person. The guys I work with are real proactive, so we get into a lot of stuff. We have some real good cases and uh, get a lot of pretty good criminals. So we're on our way to a threats call right now. I've dealt with this lady before, but uh, there's a car back there. I'm going to pull over before we go. I had a crack windshield. I'm going to do a quick routine traffic stop on it before we go to this other call. See what they're up to. Okay. I'm gonna 
pull him over. His windshield's shattered. I can see the crack all the way through his his uh, vision. Three twenty. About the 148 Hunter block of Murray, 365. 041. Hey. Hi. Uh, cracking your windshield's why I pulled you over. It's right through your line of sight. Yeah, I'm getting a, new, a parts car we're going to get. Okay. You have license, registration, proof of insurance on you? I don't have. You don't have what? You don't have any ID? You don't have any ID on you at all? Uh, sure, sure don't you. Hmm? No. What's your name? Brian. Lean back in the seat, please. Put your hands on your lap. Thanks. I'd like to be able to see him. You got any warrants right now? No, okay, you don't think so? When's the last time you were arrested? Uh, been over a year. Can she turn the car off at eight Sure. Heat? Feel free to turn it off. That'd even be better. That's that's why we're here, because the car, we're having a hard time. I think. Decided to shave the beard? Is this you? Yes, sir. Okay. You don't have any ID on you? That's, that's all. I, I just got out of, out of Shelton. On the 29th. Who are you in for? Um, possession. Possession of? Heroin. Okay. Any drugs in the car tonight? No, sir. None at all? None at all. And nobody's got any warrants? Mm -hmm. And your driver's status is good, ma'am? Yes. Okay, then you guys will be out of here soon if that's the case. Sit tight. I'll be right back, okay? <laughs> I love that. A booking sheet is ID. <laughs> status on... Karen is clear. Start 2004. Restrictions. Corrective lens. Last five. Three eight three. David Davis. And all six are confirmed. Five. Hold it. Okay, I'll be taking them into custody. Go ahead and send them up. Okay, let's go put some people in handcuffs. Come on, chop out of the car for me. Come on to the back. Come on back. Go ahead and drop the wallet. Put your hands on the car. Put your hands on the car. Hmm? What's this about? Yeah. Well, it seems that you've got some warrants. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. You have the right this time to talk to a lawyer and to have him present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights, not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand your rights? Is that right up to you? Yes. Did you not pay a fine or appear in court or? You're kind of wrenching on my wrist, sir. Sorry about that. Is this on Snap right here? Yep. McDonald's, 8201, Phillip, number 11. I'm going to settle my your stuff right here. My stuff, so. Okay. You're next. Why don't you hop out for me? Make sure I can see your hands when you get out. Go ahead and put the cigarette down, please. Come on over to the back. Put your hands on the car for me. Open your hand all the way. Put it flat against the glass. I want to get her and the kid out, make sure it's I need you to step out. safe. Come on back here, ma'am. Put your hands on the car for me. you have any weapons or anything on you? No. Okay, I'm going to pat you down for weapons, it's and I'm going to stand you in front okay. of the car mom's with your kid, okay? We're gonna, mom's going right here with you, okay? You're driving around with guys that have multiple warrants. One of them is my husband. Mm-hmm. You can step out with Go mom. Go ahead and pull her out. I don't want her to be upset. <laughs> I'm wait in front of the car with her for me, ma'am. Is there anything in the car you want to tell me about? No. Anything illegal? Any drugs? Drug paraphernalia? No. Nothing? I know of nothing. Okay. I'm going to start over there, Dave, because that's where the uh, husband was sitting. Can't be far past two. 
Here's the meth. Don't cover right now. Just put her in the back of your car with the kid. Okay. Why don't we do that? Just go through her pockets okay. real good in her shirt. Yeah. <clears throat> Make sure she has absolutely nothing can, on her. You can relax, okay? Just relax, okay? The key in this pocket. Okay. A piece of paper. Okay. Gentlemen, I've read you both your rights. You both said you understood them, correct? You guys want to let me know whose bag this is? I'm just looking for a little honesty, fellas. Yeah, come on, man. Is it? Okay. What's the dope inside? It's meth. Is it meth? Okay. Did you guys just buy it or? <laughs> Locally or? Out on the east side? You want to tell me where? Help yourself out a little bit or? Yeah. Give me. Okay. We're going to get you guys out of the car and put you in the other car for transport down to the jail and you can say goodbye to your wife. So go ahead and hop on out. Let's walk on back to this other car, gentlemen. He's got some things he needs to take care of. Mommy will explain it when you get home. What's he do? Don't worry about it. Let's get... Okay. How do you explain a warrant to a five-year-old? Yeah, it's a little tough. Right now we're in Tillicum. It's an area that's adjacent to Fort Lewis military base. It's made up of a lot of residential housing and uh, small mom-and-pop shops to take care of the soldiers and the airmen that are around the area. Um, Right now we're in the area of a reported domestic, and we're going to go check it out to see what we've got, and uh, we'll take it from there. There it is. Three nine two, County last call. How's it going, guys? He come in here yelling at me about where the hell I go. Call me a liar. Because I had to go to the welfare office. Then I went to Spanaway, had my boss fill out some paperwork, and I came back. He says, you put 50 miles on my truck. Okay. I said, no, I didn't. I, it's not 50 miles to, to, to here to, what, downtown and back and to Spanaway and back. That's not 50 miles. Okay. And he started calling me some names, and okay. then he slugged me in the head. Okay. For where? In the forehead? No, right here. Okay. How did he hit you? With his fist. Okay. Open, closed. Oh, no. He closed it. Okay. All, for all he could give you? He, oh, yeah. Okay. And then what happens? And then, um, I don't know, he, he started calling me names. Okay. And then we came out here. He came out here kicking stuff. And then um, he went out the door. Okay. And then and I shut the door. When he... And then he okay. my window. Okay. What I want you to do is do... expecting me not to do nothing. Okay. Well, I'm going to have you fill some statements out, okay? A medical release, and this, I need you to be as detailed as possible about what happened, and we'll try and get him into custody. And in the meantime, I need you guys, and you pass the word that we're going to have a dog out here, so everyone that's in the area needs to go back in their apartments. Okay. Hey, Joe, have you got started yet? Okay, let's, let's move down here, Greg. He went out this far door, and I think he went back towards the tracks. So, okay, we're starting our track now. Right here. Okay, we're on the tracks now. We're northbound from uh, 14400 block. Moving at a good clip. Let me know, Joe, if you need the traffic stop here. Okay. Get 
Making contact. Shows your hands! Shows your hands now! Yes, out! Heel! Get your hands in there! Keep them up! Keep them up! Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Put your hand behind your back. Yes, sir. Take on, sir. Ow! Oh, boy. Give on that guy. Come here, the hand. Oh, boy. Greg, give me some light. Do you have any weapons on you? No, sir. Roll over. You're under arrest. I don't, sir. Yeah, I know you know. Oh, boy, Max. Oh, boy. Out. I like it. One in custody. You got him, Bill? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to get the dog out of here. Okay, he's got a $2,000 muni cart warrant, too. Max, come. Roll this side. I know you're not resisting. No. Nice scanner, huh? Guess you don't have our tactical channel, do you? No, I'm just I'm waiting to have. Do me a favor. Get on Metro and have medical aid meet us at the cars. Stand up. All right, you know what? Just be quiet for right now, all right? Don't say anything. Uh, just a quick one for weapons. I didn't do a good search. Okay. Okay. I'm down here. I'll do it. It's just while You guys want some water? Okay. We were in the area when the domestic actually occurred. I heard the glass breaking. We went over there. The suspect had already taken off. Got a bunch of containment units, which had him pinned down really quick. And uh, K-9 showed up. We conducted a track. We assumed he had gone this way, and it turned out to be true. And uh, went to ground in a bunch of scrub brush. That's where we found him, along with his scanner and a bunch of other stuff I haven't gone through yet. So he's got warrants. He's got fresh assault charges. And listen up. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. You have the right at this time to talk to a lawyer and have him present with you. 132 in Bush, I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint, 132 in 